So a couple of Saturdays ago I shared a picture on Instagram of where I tore the knee in a pair of my jeans and um, aside from the fact that there's a tear in the knee, there was nothing wrong with the jeans, all their seams and everything were intact which is pretty impressive because I bought them back in 2009 but they are Lee jeans so they are fantastic quality and I didn't want to throw them out so I decided that I would do a little bit of DIY and make them look like they're supposed to have tears in them and I thought why not film it and share it with you guys so if you would like to see how I tore up my own jeans then just keep watching so you'll need something denim, jacket, jeans, shorts, whatever you like so that you can start cutting some holes into it some scissors, preferably fabric scissors because they'll be so much easier to cut the denim with rather than regular paper scissors. Some tweezers to pull out all the tiny threads. These look really, really surgical, but they're actually just from my sewing machine. And something to draw all the lines on the fabric with. I'm just using some colored tailor's chalk. So this is where I tore the knee of my jeans. I did pull some of the white threads out while I was at work, but to get more out, I actually need to cut the hole a lot bigger and it frayed a little bit at work, which I was pretty impressed with. I think that's just because I was sort of moving around, but I have the intention to sort of create a bigger patch right across the knee. And if you're wondering, my nails have mismatched by Essie on them. So I'm using red tailor's chalk so that I can easily see all the lines I draw and I'm drawing them about a centimetre and a half apart, too close and you're creating more work for yourself too far apart. You won't be able to pull out all the threads in between. Also you can see that the lines are different widths, this helps shape the tear and you want to try and keep them as horizontal as possible as well. So just taking my scissors I'm going to cut a tiny little slit on all of the lines and you want to try and stay as horizontal as possible to the jeans when doing this because otherwise you will cut the white threads and that is not what you want and I can honestly say I did a terrible job at this but I gave it my best shot. Then I just fold the fabric back out and again, staying as horizontal as possible, cut along the entire length of the red line. Then using the tweezers, I'm going to pull out all the little blue vertical running threads. Um, it's easier to start by pulling out some of the white threads first. As you can see, I've cut them. That's not what you want, but um, it's bound to happen. And it's really hard to start with, but it does get easier as you go along. to change up tweezers I'm just using these little really pointy Woolworths ones they're so much easier to get out of the threads rather than the big ones the easiest way I discovered was to hold the fabric taut and pull the threads out like from the side it just made everything so much easier So basically this is what it looks like once you have pulled out all the vertical threads from all the little bits of fabric that you sliced up so moving on to the other leg, I have this really big white stain, I think it's paint, that I really want gone. So I'm going to create a little patch over the knee and then slightly further up the leg, I'm going to create a bigger patch and just use the exact same technique as before, drawing up the lines, cutting and pulling out all the threads. So this is what the final result looks like. Then just using a little vacuum, I vacuumed up all the threads, they were everywhere. Then you just want to chuck the jeans in the wash. I did a whole load with them so I wasn't just wasting water. And yeah, this is the before and after and I think it turned out really, really well. I've actually had a lot of compliments on it so I hope you liked it.